FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. A witness called to the stand in the Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard defamation trial called the actress jealous and crazy on Twitter before his appearance in court. Filmmaker and motel owner Morgan Higby Knight took the stand in Fairfax, Virginia, on Tuesday, where he was confirmed to have been behind an April 21st tweet that was posted in response to a tweet from at that umbrella that read in part, Johnny Depp will be accused of being jealous because a woman was sitting close to Amber Heard. Depp said she had taken happy something. Deep, sick is accused of removing her hand and yelling at Amber, at that umbrella continued. In his response, Knight claimed, that never happened. I was with them all night. Amber was the one acting all jealous and crazy, flushed face. At one point, Heard's attorney Elaine Breedhoff tasked Knight, You are a pretty big fan of Johnny Depp, aren't you? To which Knight replied, I am not, which elicited laughter from many in the courtroom. Knight, who was called to the stand by Depp's lawyers, previously owned a luxury desert trailer park where a group getaway in 2013 with Depp, Heard and friends allegedly turned violent. Heard has previously testified that Depp grabbed a female friend of hers at the Hicksville trailer park by the wrist because he was jealous. The actress then said under oath that Depp began smashing items inside their trailer. Knight told the court that he never saw Depp get physical with anyone. He later testified about an argument between Depp and Heard that he witnessed, saying, she was upset at him and she was yelling at him. He was kind of cowering and seemed almost afraid, and it was really, like, odd to see because he was older than her obviously, but I just went back in the house. Johnny Depp's motion to dismiss Amber Heard's $100 million defamation countersuit denied by judge. Depp, 58, is currently suing Heard for defamation in the trial that kicked off April 11, arguing that her 2018 op-ed for The Washington Post about surviving domestic violence tarnished his reputation and ruined his career opportunities, even though she didn't mention him by name in the article. He testified that after Heard's allegations against him, he lost nothing short of everything. He and the Aquaman 2 actress, 36, married in 2015 and split in May 2016, when Heard sought a domestic violence restraining order against him, accusing him of abusing her. Depp denied the claims, and the former couple settled their divorce out of court in August 2016. Depp, who has said multiple times under oath that he has never struck Heard or any woman, has testified that his goal is the truth as he seeks to clear his name in the trial, which is being televised live via various outlets. When Heard took the stand, she told the jury, I struggle to find the words to describe how painful this is. This is horrible for me to sit here for weeks and relive everything. Back in November 2020, Depp lost his highly publicized UK libel lawsuit case against British tabloid The Sun for calling him a wife-beater. The court upheld the outlet's claims as being substantially true and Heard testified to back up the claims. In March 2021, the star's attempt to overturn the decision was denied. One of Depp's witnesses, their former marriage counselor Dr. Laura Landerson, previously testified in this case that Depp and Heard engaged in mutual abuse with each other. Anderson said she also observed multiple small bruises on Heard's face at an in-person meeting. In audio recordings, Heard has admitted to hitting Depp, 
and a security guard for Depp testified that he once witnessed her punch Depp. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, please contact the SVSA helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. If you are experiencing domestic violence, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233, or go to thehotline.org. All calls are toll-free and confidential. The hotline is available 24-7 in more than 170 languages.